I am Robert McMullen. I'm a psychiatrist with uh, TMS Brain Care in New York City. You know, I, I think there's been some uh, major steps in psychiatry in my lifetime. And maybe one of the biggest revolutions has been TMS coming in, which can bring 30% or more of the patients all the way to euthymia in six weeks. This is just such a revolution. And I think that the recent uh, FDA approval of Theta Burst is, is going to be another big step because this is going to allow us to treat many more people. So to explain a little bit about um, Theta Burst stimulation, we call it TBS for short, is that it was found in rat hippocampal cells that they were communicating in this uh, particular pulse pattern. And, uh, and what it is, is there's, there's five bursts per second. But each burst is a burst of three normal pulses, so that you get a total of 15 pulses per second. And when you do an excitatory treatment on on the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, which is the standard treatment for depression, these pulses run for a couple of seconds and then there's a little inner train interval, but you do just a total of 600 pulses in just over three minutes and you've done the whole excitatory treatment here. Whereas normally uh, we've done 10 hertz per second and usually do 40 pulses, have an inner train interval of 10 or 15 seconds, and, and that whole treatment on the left side takes at least half an hour. So this is uh, quite a difference to be able to just have the treatment done and the patient, from the time they walk in the room, get in the chair, get the treatment, it's all done in less than 15 minutes. One of, one of the reasons that there is an inner train interval for the standard excitatory treatment is for the coil to cool down. If you did it 20 pulses per second for two seconds and just had a, a three second interval, the coil will overheat. Uh, but we've never had a problem with the theta burst. We can do those 600 pulses and it doesn't overheat and then the coil has you know, at least 10 or 15 minutes to cool off before the next patient. So it's not, uh, there's never been an overheating problem. It certainly makes it much more affordable to treat a lot more people and more effectively and, and more convenient for them too. They can come in, sit down for 15 minutes and go off to work. Uh, it's a lot different than having to sit down for a whole hour. Uh, in fact, we were doing you know, 10 or 11 patients with our MagVenture machine the last few days. And uh, if we didn't have this uh, Theta Burst, we, we couldn't easily do what we've been doing.